I'm going to get uh, rolling again now uh, with our final presenter of this evening, and that is Mr. Mike Slater. Are you ready, Mike? Uh, yes, I am here. Just wanted to make one comment uh, on Jim's program. I did a little bit of a modeling and researching of the World War II to, uh, troop trains, and from what I found is for every six coaches, you had one baggage, and then on the long distance trains, you also had one dining car for every six uh, troop coaches. So the 14 coaches and three baggage cars would make total sense. All of these photos with the exception of one photograph uh, can all be viewed on Flickr. Uh, there uh, was a couple of gentlemen, I'm not sure where this collection uh, was located at, but they scanned uh, two boxes of, of photos like this and they're all, all with the exception of the first aerial photograph from the, uh, that were taken by uh, Bob McCoy. Uh, I believe Bob lived in uh, uh, Tosa, uh, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, he was a photographer for hire uh, with his airplane. So if you had a family farm and you wanted your farm photographed, you could hire him. Or if you were gonna be building a shopping center uh, and you needed aerial photographs uh, during the construction or prior to the construction of the project, uh, you could hire him and he would fly over and, and take photographs for you. So uh, Bob McCoy was travel all over the, uh, the Milwaukee Road territory. Um, I've slowly been organizing the photographs into territories or districts. Uh, the first one that I'll be showing, sharing with you tonight is um, uh, everything in, uh, that was in that was scanned that was in Milwaukee County. Uh, some of the images I will uh, go through somewhat quickly, but still where you can enjoy them because some of the photos tend to seem to be a little bit repetitive. Um, but um, the first photograph, um, not exactly 100% sure uh, on the year, but uh, I'm taking a guess uh, in 1937. And the reason why I'm saying that is in 1937, uh, the US government uh, uh, commissioned to have the whole entire country uh, photographed. And the state of Wisconsin uh, around the time in Milwaukee uh, was photographed in uh, August of uh, 37. And in fact, in the Milwaukee area was uh, August 4th. And the only reason why I'm saying that is uh, the ships in the canal uh, seem to be in the same locations as what's on the state of Wisconsin historic uh, archive thing. But uh, the neat thing about uh, this particular black and white print that I actually personally scanned is you can zoom in into different areas, like here's the North Shore Depot, and you can tell that there's uh, uh, orange painted cars, there's the, the early two-tone green cars. And even though this is uh, probably like a, a 10 by 14 or 12 by 14 uh, print, uh, the wealth of information is just amazing in the photograph. And the time by looking at the Milwaukee Road clock tower, again, kind of zooming in and kind of roughly looking at the hands, I'm, it looks like it's approximately 3.35 in the afternoon. Um, so again, just a wealth of uh, historic information. There's been some debate because of the filling in of the, the lakefront that uh, it may be later than 37, uh, but uh, that's kind of a, a starting point date that I'm uh, going with, because at least at that time, you still had the, the orange North Shore cars and the two-tone greens were just starting to come in uh, onto the roster. Uh, reason the Milwaukee Road uh, had these photographs taken was for different projects or new customers that were coming in online. As in the lower corner of this uh, picture is saying it's 1958, uh, we're looking north and it's the proposed sale of land to the Morton Salt Company. Of course, now that area is where the Harley Davidson Motorcycle uh, Museum is in that area. 
But uh, during these photographs, uh, we'll start off approximately in um, May of 58, uh, and we'll go up to, if we make it that far, the latest Milwaukee photograph I have is in November of 74. And all these photographs are numerically numbered. There were a lot of gaps, but uh, if they had a copy of every single photograph, uh, there would be well over four or 5,000 photos in the collection. Here we have again a, uh, a May 8th uh, photograph in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here we have a view of the Milwaukee Road beer line in August the 16th of 1960. And here's also another August 16th of uh, 60 uh, photograph showing the, the Milwaukee Road Yard complex and uh, shops complexes of, of the uh, home, hometown. Here we have uh, a April of 62 photo and we're looking on the uh, plot of land on the opposite side of uh, where the Morton Salt uh, complex was built. And again, these even these photographs are wealth of information and you can zoom in and see that, you know, automobiles are, are being loaded or unloaded. Uh, you have strings of reefer cars. You can make out there's a Santa Fe uh, reefer and a few other cars. Some of these photographs, uh, he flew in close enough and he would, you could actually get freight car numbers off the freight cars. Again, uh, same area, different angle. Here we have uh, May 4th, the next few will be May 4th of 1962. And usually sometimes, uh, I don't believe this might actually be a fence line uh, around that area, but sometimes you'll see dotted lines of proposed projects or uh, uh, projects that uh, were gonna be happening on shippers uh, land. Here we have September 27th, 1963. Uh, the North Shore has ceased operations. Uh, there's plans to start the construction of the interstate highways system and a lot of uh, the neighborhoods uh, buildings will be demolished to make room for what's now known as both I-94 and I-43. Again, a lot of these photographs, you can start seeing that plots of land are being uh, torn down North Shore Depot at this time is still standing, uh, but you can see the area is being used as a parking lot. One of the main reasons for a lot of the photographs here taken in September uh, of 63 is the preparation for uh, tearing down the, the old freight house in the old freight house area, building the new uh, or current Amtrak passenger station that's being used, and also the construction of new freight houses on the other side of the river. Again, you know, they're, they're taking photos of areas that will either be demolished or uh, changes to the, the uh, system. Of 
Again, here's the photo of the old freight house area uh, before any of the construction. Of course, you can see the uh, train sheds are still in st standing. And by zooming in, you can get a pretty good idea of the passenger equipment uh, that's at the depot. Again, another area of view, of course, after you cross the river, uh, the current Amtrak tracks would go through where the uh, freight house uh, yard was. And of course, uh, a lot of the surrounding structures and that were demolished for the I-43 uh, or 894 uh, construction. Here you see the uh, leads uh, into the uh, Milwaukee Road train shed for the uh, westbound uh, movements or looking, or actually we're looking west. And you can see the freight houses uh, area. They haven't really started tearing anything down yet uh, with that area. Again, another aerial view, uh, this time showing the North Shore Depot uh, still standing. I'm just going to exit out here for a second because I lost track of where, my, where I'm at. Uh, we're still, uh, for, okay, we're still on September 27th, uh, 1964. Again, another view um, uh, in Milwaukee. Uh, this area here now, you can see the construction of the new freight houses is starting with some of the foundation and the steel work for the new buildings. Of course, if eventually these buildings uh, got torn down and there's a lot of other uh, buildings and structures in this comp, this area now. Again, another er uh, different view of the changes with the new freight house. Here we see the, uh, the old uh, uh, connection between the old passenger station and the uh, freight house tracks. And you can also see some new tracks being put in uh, here with uh, some stubs and that for storage of passenger cars. So again, getting ready to start moving things around uh, and changing track work because of the interstate construction. Here we see a picture of some of the uh, coal piles over by the, the river area. Again, you can see a lot of structures being knocked down uh, in preparation for the interstate highway system being put in. Here we see the uh, west end of the, the old uh, Milwaukee Road Pastor Station complex. Again, another view of the North Shore uh, Depot that's still standing uh, in September of 63. Again, same geographical area, just again, taking different area photographs. Here we got April of uh, 64, and you can see a little bit further uh, construction on the, the freight house construction. Uh, you can zoom in and we can see they're starting to put looks like the rough panels onto the structure. Uh, the office complex is also being constructed. So a lot of uh, changes and modifications going on. Again, another different view of the same area of the new freight houses being put in for the Milwaukee Road. And we also now start seeing 
uh, the interstate highway coming in. I believe we're in about March. No, we're still in April. Here we see uh, a little bit found. Uh, some of this may look a little familiar to you at the Milwaukee Mile. Uh, I was told uh, if you zoom in towards the upper portion here, uh, you have a picture of the old Alice or West Alice Milwaukee Road uh, passenger stop for State Fair Park. And also of, of neat interest here is this little building right here in the photograph is the birthplace of Kambach Publishing, where the first magazine was published. Uh, it's now torn down in a car wash is in that area, I believe. Again, we're down back uh, uh, towards downtown Milwaukee. Uh, Interstate I-94 is put in. Of course, it doesn't go all the way to downtown. It uh, ends and uh, goes in, into city streets. Again, a little bit further on the construction of the uh, freight house construction. And here we're uh, probably about uh, eight, April of uh, 64. You can see now by the 60s, the Morton Salt Company actually has a, a shed over their uh, salt uh, bins and that were some of the earlier photos from about a year ago. Uh, did not have the structure built yet. Here now we see uh, this is uh, approximately July, um, probably 8th, and the uh, uh, new freight house construction. Here we can see uh, we're uh, now uh, getting towards August of uh, 64. Uh, we're starting to see semi-trailers uh, parked into uh, the freight house area. And we also see some freight cars, uh, so Chesapeake and Ohio, Baltimore, Ohio, Chicago Northwestern. Um, so a lot of uh, less than car load freight, plus also other uh, freight cars parked at the other doors. Uh, great wealth of information for uh, trying to find, figure out what uh, freight cars may have ran over the Milwaukee Road in that time period if you're modeling. Now we go to the other side of the river to the, the old freight house. Uh, and now they're starting to, to prep work for the current Amtrak passenger station. So you can see they have a bunch of pilings uh, piled up and different cranes and other construction equipment. And also all the uh, flat cars and, and or gondolas that are bringing in what's needed to construct the new passenger station. Again, another view of the uh, construction site. Here you can see more construction equipment in the yard site area. A lot of the yard tracks have now been torn out. Uh, holes dug for concrete slabs, probably for the, uh, the underpass for underneath the main lines for the tunnels to go to the different platforms. And you can see uh, there's not a freight car in sight at the freight houses and they'll so, soon be uh, demolished.
And we're all still in 1964 in this time period. Again, a little bit closer view of, of the uh, construction equipment. Uh, during the same time uh, period, uh, he also uh, flew down uh, by the uh, uh, yard area. You know, of course, you see the coal piles. And also in this view, you see uh, the Mitchell Park uh, Domes Conservatory. Looking fairly new with nothing really inside of the domes. Again, more construction still going on uh, over by the passenger station area. Here we got a view within the Milwaukee Road Yard complex. And of course, the uh, famous turntable where you had the uh, bridge supports uh, uh, going into the roundhouse. Again, with neat thing with these photographs is we can zoom in and find out what was sitting at the uh, turntable and the variety of paint schemes on the locomotives. A lot, a lot of detail and wealth of information in these photographs. Just because from a, a zoomed out area, you wouldn't think there's that much detail, the details there in these black and white prints. Again, further along on the construction of the new passenger uh, station, now we start seeing the steel beams going up for the construction and also the uh, more work still on the uh, platform uh, passageways. Here we're in uh, January of 65, still more construction still going on in the winter time. Taking a look in where the North Shore Depot was in 65, the depot is all gone. Uh, the only thing that remains is the little famous uh, little switchman shanty uh, that was now being used as the, the parking lot office. Again, a lot of areas uh, uh, torn down for the, the future, future uh, uh, interchange. Now with the passenger station complex, you can also see the famous uh, concrete uh, facade that was on the depot. Uh, I'm probably, the old facade probably grew more on me than this more modern facade on the depot. Uh, I guess to each their own on the appearance of that structure. Here also in the January of 65, you can see all of the freight, the old freight house buildings are torn down, uh, switch lead going into the area uh, for what will eventually become the main lines for the new passenger station. Here now we uh, go a little bit out of the way here uh, from uh, where we were. I'm just trying to keep track of my, my notations here. 
Uh, we're still January 4th of uh, 63. Uh, he probably had to fly out uh, ways to for his circling, circling motions, but still uh, photographing uh, different areas of Milwaukee. Here we're back in March of 65. Uh, again, further along on the construction of the passenger station. And now we can start seeing some of the train sheds going up. And again, concrete uh, pilings in the area that would eventually become the, the post office area. Here we have April 14th of 65 uh, at the uh, State Fair Park, uh, looking west, kind of north, actually a little bit northwest uh, at the Milwaukee Mile and some of the old State Fair Park buildings. Again, uh, you can zoom in and you can see a lot of interesting structures around the area. Uh, a lot of wealth for any anybody that's modeling the area. Again, April, uh, uh, it's labeled as April 13th, uh, uh, 65. Again, uh, more construction work at the uh, Milwaukee Road Passenger Station. And just because I can't see a clock anywhere, how am I doing on time? You're over. I'm over, okay, then I'll stop. So. Uh, we can always carry off sometime down the road if, or if anybody's interested in seeing. Mike Slater, everybody. Uh, give him a round of applause. Thank you, Mike. No, oh, not a problem. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, uh, Rich. Thank you, Alan. Thank you all for your presentations tonight. A good, uh, a good meeting. Uh, we're going to do this again. Uh, coming up in December, we're going to have another one of these informal um, online slideshow things. And that, uh, if you would mark your calendar now, will be December 21st. It's a Tuesday evening. So we'll look forward to visiting with you then. And of course, our uh, regular November meeting on Friday, November 5th. And then we'll have a, an in-person meeting in December uh, in, uh, with uh, Kevin Keefe and his presentation of Al Kambach's or uh, David P. Morgan's Milwaukee. So uh, a lot of stuff coming up and we're gonna close the meeting uh, right about now. Thank you all for attending. Those who have not yet joined, please consider doing so. www.nrhswis.org and look for the join button. Just go ahead and push it and it's pretty, pretty painless to become a member.